There's a storm coming Nitrogen is done. Nitrogen test has been passed. So now I'm gonna we're gonna undo the nitrogen here, and then we are going to um, we're gonna put it on a vacuum. I'll take this and set it to the side. Go ahead and get our vacuum pump hooked up here. And it doesn't really matter. I could pull the vacuum through the true suction, but I am more comfortable pulling it and feel better pulling it through the main suction line here. Either, either way, they're connected, they're together, so it really doesn't matter, but this line's bigger. I'm pulling through the bigger line. I could put, pull the core valves out of these and help my vacuum go a little faster, but I don't have a long line set at all, so I don't think we're gonna have any issues as far as the vacuum taking too long.
These are nice and super tight. We don't want any air intrusions because that could that could affect our vacuum deeply. So we do not want that. I always want to make sure these are tight, especially where it rides around in the van. Make sure that these are tight. And we got power. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to open everything up. Open everything up there. Make sure our gas ballast is open for the beginning of the vacuum. Go ahead and start her up. guys finally finally getting down into the negatives here on our bottom number this lets me know it is starting to pull a deeper deeper vacuum um, it will bounce around a little bit it'll go up in the negatives and back into the positives that is just letting me know that we do have a little bit of moisture still in the line set and it's going to make that number fluctuate up and down a little bit after the vacuum has been running for a good while, this should stabilize and it should stay in the negatives for the most part. Um, so we're always going to want to pull our vacuum all the way down below 500, below 500 microns. So right now we're at 912, 911. It's going up and down a little bit, but we're decently getting there. So. And then also on these vacuum pumps, once you get down below, say, 2000 to... 1500 so sometimes even a thousand you're gonna want to open the gas ballast on the or actually sorry you're gonna want to close it right now i have it open i'm gonna have to close off that gas ballast and that does quiet the machine down quite a bit and all that's gonna do is that's gonna let this vacuum pull a little faster a little deeper um and it helps it quite a bit as you can see the machine is not struggling as much now. So all we can really do now is clean up the mess we have and uh, get our refrigerant bottle set up and get it ready for filling the system with refrigerant as soon as the vacuum's done. All right, you guys. The vacuum is done and it started raining on me so I went ahead and took the vacuum pump off and put it in the back in the service truck but I did pull the vacuum down to uh, down to about 450 and actually my vacuum my vacuum is standing right here I've got a standing vacuum of 454 so that's perfect that's right where we want it so now that we got got some cover from the rain we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this thing going get some refrigerant in this thing so we'll put this here Good, just like so we'll hook you up on the tank Open you up, open up the tank. Turn that upside down. We'll go ahead and zero out our scales. And then I'm gonna actually charge through the true suction. So I'm gonna swap this to my true suction. Change that over to my true suction. It didn't hurt my vacuum. Alright. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and 
open this side all the way up. We gonna start charging the All right, go ahead and clear out the line. And then we're gonna put as much in there as it'll take before I have to get it running. Start dumping the refrigerant in there. The system does hold eight pounds, nine ounces. Do have to compensate a little bit for the line set length, but it's only about 15 foot, so. I won't have to compensate too much. We got a pound in there, seven ounces. It's taking it pretty quick right now. Still just going. We're at four pounds, 11 ounces. Thank goodness for the umbrella. All right, we're getting close to the max charge there. We're at eight pounds, five ounces. I figured I'd have to get it running to have it take all of it, but it might take all of it without it running here. Go ahead and shut it down there. Right at 8 pounds, 8.75 ounces. Now we'll go get it running and see how it performs. He's saying what? Alright you guys, we got this thing filled up with some fresh refrigerant. My pressures are looking pretty good right now. It is cold out here, about 38, 36 degrees. Right at about 8 pounds, 9, 10 ounces. Exactly what the unit calls for. My pressures are good enough that, you know, I'm not... I was going to compensate a little bit for the line set, but my line set is, is, is short, 10, 12 foot, so my pressures are good enough. It's heating great inside. On the heat pump side, it's heating about 98 degrees, and then with, of course, I did test the heat strips as well. It's heating very good with the heat strips. So we're going to get this broke down and uh, let this thing ride. It's good to go. There's a storm coming change out today didn't have to do no brazing on this one so that's the old one it is warranty it was bad straight from the factory had a leak right in the capillary tube so got the new one in there it's heating great right now so let it ride and see how it does have a good one <laughs> 